Making money online is the easiest way to get rich in 2020. And the easiest way to make money online is through the TikTok Creativity Program. As most of us know, the program pays 50 cents for every thousand views. And this allows people to scale accounts to tens of thousands of dollars a month. Now this is possible only if you have a good niche. If you have a bad niche, you can expect high competition, which will lead to your views looking like this. This is where this video comes into play. In this video, I will show you this crazy new niche that no one on YouTube is talking about. I'll then show you exactly how to script, generate, and edit a viral video for this niche. Take a look at this TikTok account. They have 38,000 followers. And if we scroll down, you could see that their videos get hundreds of thousands of views. They're posting in this dream core niche, which has a really clean aesthetic. I'll play you one of their videos so you get a better idea. And then we'll make the video for ourselves while also throwing in a few tricks to make our content 10 times better. Did you know the sun and moon fell in love? It's a secret kept amongst the stars. The sun, a fiery burst of energy, giver of warmth and light, found itself enchanted by the moon. All right, no more talking, let's get to work. Real quick, if you want to explode on TikTok, then join my school community. Link in the description. Also in the description, there's a link to a Google Doc, which is full of everything that we're going to use in this video. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have an eligible TikTok account. They were outside the creativity program regions. I have accounts for sale in the video description. The first thing we need is our video script. To do this, head to ChatGPT, and I'm going to start by asking the AI for a fantasy story within this niche. My prompt is quite specific, so I'll leave it in the Google Doc for you guys to copy over. It's basically asking for a story or list of stories in this niche. As you can see, ChatGPT has now generated me a list of video ideas for us to use for our video. The one that I really like is this one about the floating islands, and I think it will make for a really good video. So what I'm going to do is copy over the video idea, paste it back into ChatGPT, and ask the AI to write a story about this and make it 1,200 characters long. As you can see, the AI will now begin writing us a story. You can find the exact prompts in the Google Doc in this video subscription. With our story now done, I'm going to ask for chat to make it one adventurer. I'll touch on why I did this later, but it basically helps with generating our images. With our script finally done, I'm going to ask the AI for Leonardo AI image generation prompts for every three seconds of the video. I'm also going to make sure that they all include our main character and also tell the AI it shouldn't be afraid to repeat the same scene. And now for some reason, the AI only gave me 12 prompts. This is nowhere near enough, so I've asked the AI to create 30 so that we have enough to change the scene every two seconds. The AI has now begun to create us these image prompts, so leave this tab open and we can move over to the next step. Let's go ahead and put these image prompts to use. Head to Leonardo. using the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on Leonardo, you wanna hit image creation in the middle of the screen to begin generating our images. Now on this next page, we need to change a few settings in order to generate our images correctly. The first thing I'm going to do is change the preset here. The preset you want to select is concept art, and it's this one that the example account used. With that done, we now need to change the image dimensions. Hit the button that says more, and on this next tab, you wanna select the TikTok ratio. Finally, you wanna make sure you're generating one image at a time. This might be a paid feature, but if you generate four at a time, you have more to pick from anyway. You might wanna rewatch that part of the video just to make sure all your settings are correct. Once you're happy, we want to head back to ChatGPT and find our first image prompt. Once you found the image prompt, you need to select all and copy it. Once it's copied, head back to Leonardo and you want to paste it in this generation box. Once it's in place, all you need to do now is hit generate. It will take a moment, but as you can see, we have a really cool looking image that will be good for our video. You wanna hover over this image and click this button with the two arrows. Now on the next page, you need to hit character reference. What this will do is it will make sure that we use the same character in every single image. Now with that done, copy over all of your prompts and generate all your images. This obviously takes some time, so I'll skip to when it's done. We now need to add some animation to our image. This is how we're going to stand out against the competitors in this niche. Hit the back button in the top left of Leonardo. Now on this next page, just below that, you want to hit the button that says personal feed. You can now see that all that images are here. You want to scroll down and click on your first image. Once on here, hit the image to motion button. On the next page, you want to grab the strength slider and drag it to two. With that done, hit generate. You now need to repeat this process for all the images that we generated. Click on them, hit image to motion, and generate a moving image. 
I'll skip to when this is done. You can now see that we have these moving images for our video. I think these look insane and would take an animator months to make. All we need to do now is download all the images. Real quick, I wanna talk about my school community. If you guys are struggling to go viral on TikTok, then this is the place for you. We have a full TikTok guide, as well as a spreadsheet with over 100 niches. Check it out in the video description. We now need to get the voiceover for our video, head back to ChatGPT, and copy over the original script that we created. Now you want to head to 11 Labs so we can turn this script into a voiceover. Once on 11 Labs, you want to hit this drop down so we can select a voice. You want to look for a voice that is ideally of a woman, and that's also very calming to fit the theme of our video. You can try out some voices by hitting the play button next to them. Once you have a voice, all that's left to do now is paste in our script. As there's nothing to change about our script, you can just go ahead and hit generate speech. Once Eleven Labs has done its thing, download it to your device. We now have everything we need for our video, so let's edit it all together. Head to CapCut and start by importing everything we gathered throughout this video. The first thing that I will do is select the voiceover and drag it onto the timeline. With our voiceover in place, we don't need to make any changes to it, so we can move over to the next step. The next thing you want to do is drag in your images. This part's super simple. You just want to drag in the image that corresponds with what's being said in the voiceover. Feel free to crop and edit the duration of each image as you see fit. You need to repeat this process for every image in your timeline, and I'll skip to when it's done. Once your timeline looks like this, the next thing we want to add is some text. Head to the top left of Cut and hit Text. On the next page, you want to select Auto Captions and then hit Generate. If this is a pro feature for you, I've left the link to an editing software in the Google Doc that will do this process for free. Once your captions are generated, you want to select them all and head to the top right of Cap. Once here, you want to hit this Template tab and select a template where the text appears one word at a time. Once you found one, the last thing to do is to select your text and drag it to the middle of the screen. Only a few more things, and then we're done. Now to make our video even better, I'm going to add some effects to our video. Hit the Effects tab in the top left. Now the effect I think is really good is this one called Firefly. So I'm going to select it and drag it onto a few of our images. Add some effects all you want, but make sure to not overdo it, as the effect can easily become too much. With the effects done, I'm going to add an adjustment to our video. Hit Adjustment in the top left and add an adjustment to your track. Once it's in place, extend it so it lasts the full length of your video. Now head to the top right, and you want to firstly start by increasing the saturation. This will make our video more vibrant and better to look at. Now scroll down and change the vignette value to around 20 to 25. With our adjustment done, the last thing I'll add is a transition. Head to transitions in the top left. Now on this page, you want to search for a specific one called Black Fade. Once you found it, drag it between your first two images. With this now in place, head to the top right of CapCut and lower the duration to about 0.2 seconds. With that done, the final thing you want to do is hit is apply to all button. This will put the transition between every single photo that we have. Our video is done now, so hit export. Thanks for watching today's video. If you really want to take TikTok seriously, then join my school community. Bye.